there's quite a lot of them in this area. Like it's it's difficult to keep track of the path, but I know just more or less in that air, in that direction. Like I can hear the sounds of the highway, so I know I need to go towards that. Oh well. So now the path has just completely disappeared because as you can see, it's just like a pile of boulders and broken trees. And from all these trees that are all just toppled all at once, that seem like they should, they weren't dead. I'm guessing that like some tornado or something must have torn through this place and ripped all these, because there's so many young, living trees that are just snapped off. Oh well. Okay, I made it out of there. Here's looking back at it. Here's looking forward at where I'm going. So, I mean, you can see, at least the trail is recognizable now. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that jumping around off of these boulders is any easier. <laughs> it's worth it though. Like the risk is, I think, totally worth the reward. Oh, look here, we're about to, uh, I was gonna stop recording, but I won't because we're coming out of the forest now back onto the main boulder field. <clears throat> and you can see there is that, that one right there is the massive one the biggest one of all uh so who knows i'll figure out what i'm gonna do i might there is a side trail that allows you to uh bypass most of the boulder field but i kind of like it so i mean i kind of like the boulder field so uh, i don't know i might skip part of it we'll see okay donna you have got to see this one look at this tree all right comes down all right, and then look at the way that it's roots. I can go completely under them, but that's not all. Watch this root. Oh, another freaking weird tree that is like, look, I can put, I can put my leg the whole way under it. Like these two trees are grown together just by their roots, but are like, the weirdest thing ever <laughs> like the whole way every one of these roots i can put my foot and my you know you can reach under them is that not like the weirdest thing <laughs> from this viewpoint you can see three the three biggest boulders and you can tell that they used to be one like they were just well, I guess most of this was probably one big boulder at once, but that's, that one's really cool. Like it's the biggest chunks and you can really see how they used to fit together right there. Yeah. Oh, I hear something moving around. Some kind of an animal over here. Hopefully it's not anything like dangerous. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, whatever. It's probably more scared of me than I am of it, but I still think I won't antagonize it, <laughs> whatever it is. It's a damn shame about how many people spray painted this place. And look at this moron. Fuck COVID. Yeah, well, no shit. Everybody hates a disease. You don't need to act like you are the one who figured out that we should hate being sick and people dying, whatever. But so, like you can see, like you can't go anywhere here without walking on the boulders. It's awesome. I don't know, I'll try to zoom in. Like, it's tough for me to really explain to you just how big this boulder field is, but it's very big. Like the boulder field itself, is 10 times bigger than what they have at Boxcar Rocks. But Boxcar Rocks themselves are 
so much bigger and better than this that it's there's no comparing the two however this is a really fun boulder climbing place but it's not a real you know straight up wall rock climbing place like um like boxcar rocks is beautiful aside from you know the vandalism but it really is a special place i wish that i could bring more of my friends here all right i'm at the almost at the bottom of the boulder field i think i think that might be the cave that i was uh first pointing out to you that i was worried about dropping my phone into but um you can see that should be right there should be the end of the boulder field so hopefully the next time i flick on it'll be to show you crossing the creek and that'll be that all right i'm at the bottom uh that's all the farther i have to go so pretty much if i fall here i'm the loser of the world <laughs> all right there we go i made it out safely now at this point the worst thing that can happen to me is i fall in the creek and my shoe gets wet so <laughs> i'm safe all right so from the bottom of the boulder field to the creek was less than a 30 second walk and you see it's pretty straightforward just you gotta step across these few little stepping stones and then the road is right there i'm sure you can hear it but we have to i have to walk up this away so it's uh sweet made it across without uh getting my foot in the water so now we just more or less like walk along the trail that that just skirts right along the edge of this little creek and in about two minutes you get to the parking area so it's it's really it's quick and easy like once that you get here which is only like 22 to 25 minute drive from home you're only walking like three or four minutes to get to the beginning of the boulder field so it's it's great so yeah like i thought it only took about two minutes or so and right here i am right along the road you know and here's my toyota i am out of here out of that place pretty quick like I'm already zipping along in a 55 mile per hour zone. So it's like, it is a little tricky pulling out. Uh, you know, like cars are zipping along and you don't, you don't really have much to pull out of. But I'm just saying that it's the kind of attraction that you can get to very quickly and easily and get back home quickly and easily. All right, just walked in the door. Even had time to stop at the liquor store and it's only one, or it's only 11.31, not even noon yet. But I just noticed, I hadn't realized this when I was up on the mountain. I got a lot of like burrs stuck on my sweatshirt that I need to pick off. Yeah, oh well. All right, now we'll have to go and see Donna, the person who I made this whole video for in the first place, and see if she's got our cat or if he's outside or what. All right, you take care. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, she was so nice. You oh, got you really got lady. you got the cat. Where is he? Back here? Huh? Oh. I'm just patting him, Donna. He likes it. I've never heard him purr before. I told you. But that might be because of how I can't hear some certain tones. You know what I mean? No, no, it's fine. He will purr if he wants to purr. Him's a baby.
Um, this is going on video, Donna. You don't want to talk like an idiot. <laughs> You're going to be on a video, Donna. He likes when you pet around his Donna, he's my cat. I know what he likes. For the most part, he likes me to leave him alone. All right. That's why I leave him alone. I I'm just let him look. Sleep. I'm the disciplinarian. You're the the sweetheart who like is nice to him all the time. Uh, he's a good boy. But I'm the one who I'm the one who has to punish him when he's bad. You know. Yeah, he has been. I can tell you that. You go back now.